part. Then you just take a spoon here. You can use the spoon to kind of scoop out these seeds. Just like this. Get the nice scoop out of there. Get that get that uh, that soft part out of there. And that leaves you with a nice firm tissue here of your butternut. Very easy to uh, very easy to, to dice at this point. Plus, you don't want to waste that bottom part. Like I said, any kind of uh, vegetable things that grow in the ground close to the root is, the root is going to have less flavor. So a lot of cooks I'd say, you know, that part's a pain to do all that. So they'll just chop the bottom part off and get this one for their nice dice. Not to mention, if a chef tells you to do a perfect medium dice on it, it's a little bit harder on these pieces here. What I've done is just like a half of a cantaloupe or something, cut it long ways like this. And everyone see? Now you can turn it up on its end like that and actually come in and chop those up into a rough size dice. Once again, this doesn't have to be perfect on this. We're roasting these. The nice thing is that you've got it around the same size. Because once again, if you put a big chunk in there and a little chunk, the little one's going to be done much quicker than the other. Now what I do with these to, to roast them, look at all the surface area we had on this compared to this. Not to mention this would have the skin on it otherwise, right? And that skin, you know, they usually tell you hit it with a little bit of oil, roast it off in the oven, you're going to get a nice um, soft inside there. It does retain more moisture that way for sure, if that's what you're looking for. It has more of a fresh flavor. This one's going to give it more of that caramelized butternut flavor. Like I said, as it roasts, the natural sugars in this and you coat this with oil, just a light coating with oil, actually for the one I did, uh, just to give it a better flavor, um, I used butter. And then I just <laughs> coated it like that, put a little butter on it. I never use butter in any of my recipes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All of those. <laughs> She'll tell you, butter, fat, is flavor. It's the number one thing they teach us in school. You can see that I've got a nice, you know, they're, they're not even, but they're around the same size. And what I did is I put the butter on them, roasted them in the oven, a nice hot oven, about 450 degrees for, say, 30 to 40 minutes with that size, okay? Making sure that in between, I checked them to go ahead, the ones that were on the outer edges, I went ahead and tried to flip those over and toss them around a little bit so I get a nice even coat. Now, for the last five minutes or so, where I kick it up just a notch. It's already extracted some of that natural sweetness, and you saw, like, especially pieces like this. See that? See that nice brown color? Oh, that's magic. That's that's where the flavor is right there. If that was the peel, you'd be throwing it away and then forget all that extra flavor. So with this one, what I did for the last five minutes or so, take just a little touch of honey, a little touch of molasses, coat it around the stuff, and then pop it back in the oven for just a minute. That's kind of nice. It's going to even add a little bit more sweetness to it. I just mentioned you get that, uh, that kind of smoky, earthy flavor from the molasses, you know. Um, but after that comes out, then you can add that to your balloons out here. It's your roasted butternut squash. Now, had I just taken this and put it in there, you'd have a butternut squash cream for sure, right? But you're not going to be missing out on that extra flavor. Now, something important that one of my sous chefs taught me a long time ago. This guy, he, uh, I can definitely attribute to him most of the reason I can build my sauces the way they are now. My soups taste good. The layering, he's, he's the one that taught me a lot about that. Something I can do to kick this up a notch. I've got roasted butternut flavor, right? If I add this, it's going to give it that nice, fresh, garden fresh flavor that a lot of people look out out of their, uh, their, their things. I didn't roast it. It's going to take a little while to cook, but it's going to give it a garden fresh flavor. People are going to be like, it's got the roasted, the caramelized flavor, but it's also tastes like it's just fresh out of the garden. Like you just picked it uh, and made the soup out there in the dirt. So what, what, what you do now is you just let that cook down, allow it to cook for a while until the butternut pieces are completely done. Then you're going to come by with a uh, with a burn mixer or a, an immersion wand. I don't know, does anyone have one at home? Yeah. Uh, if you don't, uh, I didn't have one when I first started here. What I had to do for my cream soups, I took a blender. I'd say almost everyone's got a blender at home, right? You can take your soup, pour it into that, blend it up, and put it into a container so you've got a nice, smooth, pureed, uh, creamy soup.